Today, I'm on the search for the ultimate porn star martini. I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison with three porn star martinis, three of the best porn star martinis, and decide for myself which one is the best. The team from punchdrink.com invited some of America's best bartenders to fight it out to discover who had the best porn star martini. Only two made it to the final panel. So I'm gonna do a comparison with three. I'm gonna do the original compared with the two best and decide for myself which one I like. Let's get straight into it. So first I'm gonna start with the original Porn Star Martini, which is hugely popular in the UK. It's a modern classic over there. This was created by Douglas Anker at the Townhouse in London back in 2003. Now, because I'm gonna be doing a taste test, I'm gonna make these drinks fairly quickly. So they're nice and fresh, ready to go, and I'm comparing apples to apples. Let's get on to it. Let's get to it. I already said that. What else can I say? Let's get mixing. 1.5 ounces, 45 mil of absolute vanilla. Half an ounce, 15 mil of Pessoa, passion fruit liqueur. Two ounces, 60 mil of passion fruit puree. And two teaspoons of vanilla sugar. Babe, can you grab the ingredients for the next cocktail, please? Yeah, sure thing. Hey, did you end up ordering Adam's Christmas present yet? <laughs> no, I told you I was going to. Yeah, you told me, and that was like two weeks ago. Yeah, but I, I don't even know what to get him. Well, I don't know. Any ideas? He's been drinking a lot of mojitos and tiki stuff at home, and I guess maybe like the summer he'd like some new cocktail glasses. Cocktail glasses. That's a great idea. Thanks to today's video sponsor, Bisky. Look at this, guys. I've got mojito glasses, perfect for that special someone, for a friend. I've got glasses that are suitable for Negronis as well. And then we've got beautiful tiki glasses and martinis. You've got a huge range of glasses and barware on their website. So make sure you check out the link in the description below or on screen right now. Use the coupon code STB15 to get 15% off. But it's holiday season. Make sure you get your order in soon so you can get it in time for Christmas. Let's get back to the cocktails. Next is the OnlyFans Martini by Kevin Beery from Chicago. This one is super interesting because it's got a vanilla bean infused cachaça, preferably a Vua Prada. So two ounces, 60 mil of vanilla bean infused cachaça. Three quarters of an ounce, 22.5 mil of cane syrup. 15 mil, half an ounce of fresh lemon juice and 15 mil, half an ounce of passion fruit puree. And this is garnished with a pineapple wedge and an orchid. Now, according to the judging panel, this was the winner. Uh, this one is by Brian Evans from New York City. It calls for half a passion fruit shaken within that porn star martini. One and three quarter ounce, 52.5 mil of vodka, and he calls for preferably Suntory Heiku vodka. Then half an ounce, 15 mil of Cointreau. Three quarter ounce, 22.5 mil of fresh pressed lime juice. Half an ounce, 15 mil of passion fruit puree, unsweetened. And lastly, half an ounce, 15 mil of vanilla bean simple syrup. And of course, you need to serve it with a sidecar of champagne, apparently to cleanse your palate. So these are the three best Paul Star Martinis, apparently. So I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> on the left-hand side, you've got the original by Douglas Anker, uh, really heavy on the passion fruit puree. Then you've got the second one by Kevin Beery in Chicago, and that uses the vanilla bean infused cachaça. And then the last one by Brian Evans, like, Still vodka based, but it's got the unique addition of Cointreau. A little bit more citrus and, and the lime juice, of course, as well. So let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. As far as the looks go, I think the orchid makes this one. 
pineapple wedge looks a little bit random to me. This looks extremely thick and textural because you've got two ounces of puree. That's insane. Um, but I think this looks the nicest out of all of them. It's a, bit, a little bit brighter. Let's get to it. Cleanse the palette first to begin with. <sighs> Cheers. That's just like full on passion fruit. It's really quite sweet. I can understand why it would be hugely popular though, but very sweet. And then you've got that vanilla in the background, but still quite prominent. So it's not in the background. Cleanse my palette. Then we have, this one is probably the most intriguing. This is the one that I really want to try. Vanilla bean infused cachaca. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. That's really cool. And when you bring the drink to your, to your nose, to your face, you actually get that grassiness of the cachaca. I like this. This is definitely why it came in second place. That's good. I'd use a different garnish. Don't particularly like the garnish. <laughs> and that's why Kat is here. Cleanse the palate. And then we have, according to the judging panel, the ultimate porn star martini. More citrus forward. The lime is a lot brighter. As f like I can understand, they're both really good. Um, but as far as the best porn star martini goes, I would agree with them. I'd 100% say this one. Uh, but if you were saying a unique cocktail, this is more unique, but less traditional for a porn star martini. I 100% agree with the punch drink panelists. And I'd say that's number one, mainly because it is a more traditional uh, porn star martini. 